The Kansas City Chiefs hit the road for some Sunday night football action, and this is some juicy action as we get another round of Mahomes versus Lamar. Mahomes looking exactly like you'd expect him to look in his first 2021 contest. And first down of 10, Mahomes comes out firing, and he finds Tyreek Hill for a big game. Jackson, for the most part, also living up to his rep in week one. Fake. Lamar wants to throw for it. Now it'll scramble out of trouble. Why go north-south or you go east-west? If Jackson wants to get on the board in this budding rivalry, it very well could be his legs, along with others, that get the job done. Lamar didn't end up running 20 times just because they were missing all those backs, but when he took off, he made the Raiders D pay. Lamar's going to run out of there. Able to stay on his feet across midfield, across the 40. And the thing was, Tyson Williams did an admirable job stepping into the starting role. Gives the ball to Williams right through the middle. Forget about the first down. How about a touchdown? And Latavius Murray should have time to actually acclimate to his new digs. It's Murray. Murray just signed on Friday into the end zone for a touchdown. Baltimore's offensive strength still appears to be Casey's weakness, too. The Browns gashed them for almost six yards a run, playing a major role in keeping Cleveland in the game. Kansas City didn't really play the pass all that well either, giving up several big pass plays that allowed Baker Mayfield to throw for over 300 yards on a hefty 11.5 yards in attempt. Mayfield guns it and it is right on target to Njoku. And all of that equaled a loss because the KC defense came through when it mattered the most. Kinds of bodies around him, he gets rid of it, and it's intercepted. And the KCO, no matter how easy it is to guess who will star for it, still hung 33 points on the board because Mahomes apparently can just flip a switch at any point and get them going. Over 330 yards passing, three TDs, a rating over 130. He chases, he heaves it. And he crosses the goal line for a one-play strike from 75 yards. He locked in on the usual suspects, too, and neither of them had to fake a limp to get open. Quick throw, Kelsey, Kelsey, not stopping him. On the run, wide open again is Hill, getting lost in the secondary. Now stack that attack up against Baltimore's secondary, which is coming off a game where they surrendered over 400 yards through the air to Derek Carr. Drake picked up the pressure all alone is Zay Jones, and he will prance into the end zone. And even though they knew who Carr was throwing to half the time, Darren Waller still came up big late in the game and finished with 10 catches and 100 yards. You know Kelsey took notice of that. Second and goal just outside the 10. Carr dips it in there, it's Waller, he spins into the end zone! So each team's strength could be on full display in this one. The Ravens, knowing that turnovers could dictate who comes out on top in the end. Third and seven. Jackson trying to get out, can't do it. He's taken awesome. down and it's out, and the Raiders have recovered it. Will the fourth time be the charm for Jackson? Maybe that'll be the new saying in Baltimore. If it doesn't happen, I'd hate to see that young Ravens superfan, Wee Hoopin, suffer an 0-2 start. I don't think his vocal cords could take it. Funny kid, though. Maybe he'll show up in the comments section with his prediction, which will surely end with Ravens on top, but I'm guessing there will be plenty of predictions with Chiefs on top in there, too. Let's now see who most of our panel is picking to come out on top in the top game of the week.